Jordan, what's in the toolbox? They gave us tools to fix our car after that race because uh, I hit a couple guys yeah. on purpose. Practice one is done. Pretty usual practice for us this year, it seems. I think we're fifth in class, deep in the GT pack. Uh, came in here with a little bit of a different setup philosophy. Uh, so starting off the car was pretty edgy to drive, but we did two changes throughout the session, seemed to get better. So didn't seem to have outright pace, but maybe long run pace seemed a bit better on the older tires. We seemed a little bit closer to the guys up front. So started raining. Doesn't look like it's gonna rain the rest of the weekend, so we parked it. Hopefully we'll make some good changes tonight and have a better car tomorrow, but yeah, so far not so good, but we can only go up from here. Not too bad. I did nothing but we're P2, so it's pretty good. Hey, be careful what you say, you're on mic you're mic'd up. That's why I'm Is that why you're so quiet today? <laughs> and if you want to tell me any secrets, now's the time. We can just beep it out later. Yeah. We, we won't beep it out though. I know. <laughs> Actually, I like you better than the Dale Jr. one. Yeah, that was fun one. That was, there were some weird stories on that one. Yeah, I must have been. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're regretting those now. The stories now? I mean, okay. I've heard a few too many stories about other people's colonoscopies now, but... <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. But at least everyone's yeah. being safe out there. <laughs> Get checked. So I was waiting to come find you to show you this sticker. Thank They're you. all over the place. But I thought you should have one. What is it? Because they're literally Oh my everywhere. gosh. Really? And I was yeah. like, if anybody everywhere. needs one, you need one. It's for rectal <laughs> use only. Oh, is that for, uh... They have a uh, Well, we don't I feel like you'll know. Where that's coming from. I feel like I found I found something in a hotel room once that was like that had a label like that. I don't know where you want to sign. Something right here. Okay. That was awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right, Gage. This is Gage Williams. We're gonna enter. Uh, first question: Would you rather have hot dogs as fingers, or every time you sneeze, you pee a little bit? Every time I sneeze, you pee a little bit. Yeah, 100. percent Really? Yeah. Why would you wear a diaper? Or would no, you just embrace it? I'd embrace it. What if you had bad allergies that day and just lots of sneezes back to back? Rough day. Rough day. Okay, interesting. Not a bad answer. Here we have Bill Barfield. We'll ask you the same question. Would you rather have hot dogs as fingers or every time you sneeze you feel a little bit? With a bun or just the just the no just the, the just frank, the dog. Say frank. Just the frank. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but they smell like it too. So you got a permanent smell in your hands, or every time you sneeze, there's a little bit of feeling. Yeah, I get it. I, I think yeah. I'm there. It's a tough decision. It is. I'm going with. Well, you're uh, direct. You can like gut it all very well. Well, I think I'm going. Uh, I'm going fingers. Fingers. Finger, hot dogs. finger franks. Yeah. You like the smell? No, because I think I just eat them and have no fingers. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. For nutritional purposes. <laughs> no bad. Have a good one. Thanks, right, you too. Uh, question two, Gage. If you uh, check into your hotel room find a dead body in the bathtub, what do you do? Has that happened to you before? Uh, no, so it has Okay. okay. I'd probably just quickly leave. Quickly leave? That might look, look a little suspect. Your fingerprints are on the door. I, I just, there's surveillance. I'm at the front desk going up to my room. True. It depends on who it is. Who the person is? Yeah. The body? Yeah. What if you can't tell? What is leaving? Bond? Yeah, you're leaving. You're getting out of here. Okay, interesting. Okay, not bad. We've been bouncing this question off a few people. 
Yeah, yeah. Would you rather have hot dogs with fingers, or every time you sneeze, you pee a little bit? So I already had the second one. You pee a little bit every time you sneeze? I think everybody does. I think it's like nature. Is it? Yeah, but it's like microscopic mouth. Do they grow back and you eat them? The hot dog fingers. Oh, uh, Bo Barfield said he'd eat his just so they disappeared. But then you just have a nub. Or do you yeah. have a finger underneath it, like a human finger? No, 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 no. I think it would grow back overnight. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well then hot dog fingers. So you'd eat them every day? No, not necessarily, but I'd eat them before they went, you know, went bad. Interesting. What do you so think the shelf life? Purpose. What do you, yeah, I mean, it, it, I literally, mean, I can live for anywhere, any time, you know? Time. Like, if you're ever, like, shipwrecked or something. Sure, you would have hot dogs. Yeah, you're going to be okay. And you can use yeah. a casing for something, like, collect water. So now you're getting a little bit more complicated. Yeah. I like that. So, I what kind of, yeah. now, are these sealed? Or? They're sealed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So then you could use You could probably build a shelter with that. water. With the casing, you know little, what I mean? Because if it grows back every day, I'm guessing the casing comes back, too. So you would literally be able to build, like, a tarp. Exactly. And maybe a sail. It might take a while. You get off that island. You're still alive by then. Get out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number three, Antonio Garcia is going to get out. Jordan Taylor will get in and buckle up in that three car. Antonio, they were just trying to go with a conservative, aggressive approach. Just trying to save the tires earlier in the run to make the car last a little bit longer. Watch this on the undercut for the three car. Looks to me like Jordan Taylor is going to sweep through and get the track position on the Aston Martin. So two things could have happened there, Lee. Antonio Garcia did a better job of fuel saving on that first stint, or they elected to short fill the Corvette a little bit to get that drag position. They'll have to pay it back on the next round of pit stops with the fuel time on that second stop today. Race review. Pretty good race. I missed the start. I was on the toilet. Uh, I think Antonio dropped a third, looked like the nine car got a good start. Uh, and then we kind of settled in from there. I think Antonio was saving fuel, saving tires a bit to kind of expect to go long. Uh, I think he was just cruising along there in third, kind of holding where we were. And then when I jumped in right at the 45 minute mark, that's the minimum drive time. Uh, we short filled a little bit to jump ahead, got track position, and we were able to bang out a couple laps. Uh, first three time laps were pretty good. I think we opened up an 11 second gap. I think we needed to maintain an eight second gap to hold the lead. Uh, had, a, had the race gone green. Fortunately, it went yellow and we lost that fuel or that track position advantage. Then when the caution came out, everyone jumped us in the pits. We dropped to fourth. Uh, then basically from there, it was just out of the fuel window to save to make it to the end. So it was either save a ton of fuel or go like crazy, do a splash and go again. So. We raced up to second, had some good battles with the Lexus and the BMW. We were able to get that by both of them. Uh, and then once we were kind of in clean air, we thought we had a good car uh, after that last splash. And then, yeah, once the nine car did their splash, they took rears, which seemed like a decent call. Uh, it took them a couple laps to get up, up the temp. Uh, and I was able to close in the gap to be pretty much right on him. Uh, but then from there, he was able to open it up to a couple seconds. And then we knew we had a good car on tire deck. Um, so that last stint was going to be about an hour ten on a, on a set of tires, which we hadn't done all weekend. So we knew that would kind of play to our advantage. But catching some lap traffic here and there kind of lost us a bit of the gap. And the nine car had to save a ton of fuel on the last lap. And I think had we not had a little bit of that traffic and lost, you know, a second or two here and there on that whole run, maybe we would have had a chance to win. So that part was frustrating. But I think as a whole, we should be pretty happy with second place. It's been a while since we've been battling at the front on pure speed so that felt good again it felt nice to feel like I knew how to drive so yeah hopefully we can go to Atlanta with similar pace and you know battle for the win Antonio's never won Petit Le Mans so I know that's the top of his list and yeah we're hoping to cap off the season on a high. 
We will see you there.